You can turn it on if you want. I'm going to put mine on my glass. So people can hear me drink. Because this one is not drink themed, but it's food themed. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a another gift opening. Gifts from you, but also brought to you by... Brought to you in part by Try Treats. If you remember last time we did a gift opening, Try Treats also helped out with that video by sending us a box uh, from, was it Thailand or somewhere? And I did not like hardly anything in it, but I did like some stuff. I'm not sure what's in this box, but we'll find out together at the end. Um, but if you would like to get your own treat box, uh, this is a subscription box that you can get uh, monthly or however ma however many times you want or whatever by going to trytreats.com. I have a link in the description to everything. And for uh, your first box, you can get 15% off if you use my promo code, Joshua Alexander, all one word, all capitals. Um, and then you can let me know what you think of well, I don't know. You can probably get a bunch of different boxes from different places. Um, I'm not exactly sure. They sent me this one. We'll find out what it is. But before we open that up, we're going to open up some gifts from you guys. It's been a while. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five packages and a few envelopes. Um, and then... Uh, then we'll 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 uh, do the uh, we'll do this, and then remember, today is Monday. My brother has his show starting uh, right after we end this show here, so you can check him out on Madness Channel. Uh, he's going to be doing his Monday Madness show. So that's it. That's all the housekeeping. Um, thanks for being here. It's been a while. Um, Let's let's go into this. I hope you guys are doing all good. This one comes from Eternal Darkness. It is a card, um, potentially a sympathy card. Uh, quite a few of you will know that, unfortunately, my sister passed away. And uh, that's why there was sporadic videos here on my channel. And uh, I just put one out yesterday, which was actually finished filming or wait, was it yesterday I put it out? Or maybe the day before. No, it was yesterday because I just got home. But yeah, that was from uh, a couple weeks back, that footage. Um, yeah, this is a sympathy card from Eternal Darkness, a.k.a. Freddy. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. I imagine all these cards are. Um, I want to say... I want to say thank you to everyone, by the way. Uh... It was very awkward for me to make that post about my sister and like how my, my, uh, I guess you could call her cousin. She's not my cousin, but she's my brother's cousin. She set up a GoFundMe so that everyone here in Canada would be able to attend the funeral of my sister. And uh, without that, it would have been hard to get there. But uh, fortunately, actually, Ashley, myself, and Dakota, we didn't we didn't need to use any of the GoFundMe. Um, so that all that GoFundMe money uh, helped with um, you know the funeral costs, the medical. medical expenses for my niece who was also in the accident. She got airlifted. Luckily, she's perfectly fine actually, except for you know mentally with the you know, the trauma of losing a parent and being in a horrific accident. Um, also, uh, uh, cremation costs, uh, legal costs for whatever. I don't even, I don't know. I've never had to take care of a funeral. Um, but, uh, what's that? And the children. Oh yeah. And her other kids too, as well. So everyone who donated to that, it wasn't just, just, collectively us here or you guys here but but you guys helped a lot which is amazing so uh, i didn't make a video about that whole thing i didn't make hardly any didn't take any footage while i was down there you'll see in the next vlog or, or not the next vlog but the next next vlog i'll 
I'll share a few things from, from when we were down south there. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone who donated to that because like it's pretty devastating for my family, for myself, uh, for my younger brother, for all my brothers, and uh, of course my mom. Uh, and you guys made it a lot easier um, on the financial side of things uh, just because it's so unexpected that, you know, something like this would happen. So thank you. Anyway, enough of the bummers. <laughs> uh, this is another sympathy card, uh, which I will read later um, from Karen. Karen, thank you very much, Karen. And I imagine this one is also a sympathy card, uh, which I do appreciate. I also appreciate everyone who has um, had their... Um, had their, no, who sent their condolences through email and messages and whatever. Even if you didn't, if you didn't know, that's okay. I appreciate everyone's thoughts. Um, this is another sympathy card from Nancy. Oh, wow, that's very kind of her. She also sent uh, $50. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, I will read that later, of course. So thank you very much. Uh, who was this again? Nancy. Okay. And yeah, I'm not sure when any of this stuff was sent exactly because someone else was checking the PO box for us while we were gone. Uh, but uh, this one is actually to Ashley and it's from Jane. So Ashley will look at that from behind the camera here. Um, can you guys hear okay, by the way? Because I, I have my microphone on my chocolate milk. So. <sighs> that was probably loud. Drinking that. And this is for Ashley as well. And this comes from Jane. Wait, is that Jane? Yeah. This is Jane. Last initial M. Oh, this is Jane, last initial C. We got two Janes. For Ashley. Oh, she she double wrapped it. So a birthday gift. Uh, if you guys have been watching the latest series, which is the the camper, uh, that's a birthday gift for me to Ashley. It didn't start off that way. We actually just needed the the birthday. We needed the camper for. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's got a seal, a wax seal. That's a rose. That's cool. Um, we needed the camper for what actually happens in the next vlog, which in real time happened two or three weeks ago. How long has it been? August, August 19th? August 19th, yeah. August 18th and 19th is in the next vlog, which should be out soon. I'm just waiting for music. Wow, that's a nice card. Gold. Please fluff up the maple leaf. What does that mean, fluff up? Like maybe you fold up the corners a little bit, but it's not flat. Maybe. I don't know. That's a cool card. She says, Dear Ashley, wishing you a very happy birthday with many joyous returns of the day. And she sent a book. What is this book? What is that? What? That is awesome. That is really awesome. What even is that? It's like a picture book. She's Norway's most celebrated illustrator, Lisa Asato. Lisa Asato, Norway's most celebrated illustrator. Let me see that. It's really cool. So this is the book. That's really pretty. All the colors of life. Thank you so much, Shane. Oh. That's cool. That's excellent. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Have a look at this after. 
But yeah, thank you, uh, Jane, Jane oh, thank M. Thank you, that's really cool. And the next one actually will open up and I will have a look at this one. This one's from Carrie Renee. Wow, this is heavy. Sounds broken. I hope it's not. Look at that. Another wrapped birthday gift. Oops, sorry. Okay. Come on. There we go. I don't know if I can <laughs> cut this part. There we go. This one is from Lauren. Yes, one second. There you go. Okay. Wait, I asked if you guys could hear me and then I didn't even look at the comments. Uh, yeah, it's very clear, I think. People okay. are saying, I'm jealous of your book. Neat book. That's a pretty book. Uh, I can't believe it looks like it's going to be done by the time you needed it done. Done enough at least. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Oh, oh thanks, Renee. So Renee, I liked your comment on the last video. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. You noticed what I did with the music there. Oh, that's a cool card. I think she probably made it. It's really cool. Look at that. That's, uh, what do you call that? Cross-stitching? Or whatever? Says, have a lovely day from Jane. Happy birthday. That is a cool card. The chocolate milk boosts the mic. <laughs> Can you guys hear Ashley? She doesn't have a mic on. Well, I don't have a mic on either. I just know I'm going to be eating in this one, so I decided not to. So what does she end up sending you? This one here from, what was this, Lauren? No, this is from Renee. Wait, is this this Renee? Wait, no, this is it. Different Renee. So these are wax melts. Oh, they're like scents. Yeah, they smell really good. That you plug in? Uh, yeah, like in a warm up. Like one of these? Uh, no, that's a diffuser. There's honeysuckle, which smells really good. Honeysuckle, rose, lilac. I love lilac. And summer rose. And then this is the warm. Oh, it actually says my name on it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Custom. Custom. Custom F-150 Madness. Oh, that's sick. That's neat. It says, happy birthday, Ashley Rose. Oil burner. And I'm like, oh, this is a banana bread scent. <laughs> oh, that's good for you. What is that? They're wax as well. Cool Look at that. So these are wax that... That doesn't smell like banana bread on the outside, but it's probably because the other scents. Yeah. Let's smell this. It's got cork. It smells like banana crayons. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, it probably smells good when it's melted. It smells fine, just like that. You know when you open up, everyone opens up their school supplies on the first day of elementary school, whatever grade, that's what that smells like. There's with root, bananas. Root beer? She said she included some scents for you as well. Root beer? Root beer, cedarwood, sandalwood. This looks like you can eat this. 
Pumpkin spice, pineapple, and flower bomb. Pumpkin spice, that's very basic white girl. I like it. <laughs> and uh, peppermint, citronella, and rosemary candles. Okay, citronella, keep away the mosquitoes. And a coaster. A slate coaster. Look at that. That's cool. Thank you so much, Jane. Can that was that was from Jane C. She uh Oh, she has a I think it's her friend, she said. Okay, so Dinky Design sells all those products. So it's waxes for melting in your, whatever it's called. Personalized wax burners. Oh, personalized burners. Okay. Yeah. So hand me that again. And she makes the candles and the wax melts. She makes the candles and the wax melts. So if you want something like this, hook up with, doesn't say their name, but Dinky Designs on Facebook and on Instagram. Dinky dot designs on Instagram and just Dinky Designs on Facebook. Thank you for sending that yeah, for Ashley's so birthday. Okay, so in this box, it looks like we got something for the cats. Excellent, excellent. This is a a game for them to like. That's so cool. There's oh yeah, there's some in the bottom. We'll have to see how they play with it. I'll try to include this in a vlog for for them, uh, Renee, for or for them, for you to see, for everyone to see, I guess. Handcrafted, made out of uh, bamboo, it looks like. It also has a bell. If the cats were inside, they might be able to. Will this go in there? Okay, I don't know how this is supposed to stick into the. Maybe it's not supposed to. I don't know. That's okay. That's really cool. That is cool. That's high quality. Oh, you unscrew it. This is a Renee or Renee C. Okay, you unscrew it. Like that. Come on. I guess I don't need a. Oh, there we go. Throw it all the way. Put that in the middle there. Put this back on. Screw this on. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. They'll probably like that. We'll put it on their, uh, where they have their, uh, they have like a little desk. It's actually the Just Joshing with Dakota desk. It's not used for Just Joshing with Dakota anymore, so cats may as well use it. I mean, it will be used once again, but that's when we build the new shop, which unfortunately we're not doing this year. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like mosquitoes are not here. <laughs> Citronella smells so good. Can't keep this here. Could you put the mic on your hat? Like that? Can you hear me good? Ew, says Wendy. What do you mean, ew? You don't like citronella? It smells so good. Okay. They also send... Is this keys? Oh, it says old keys right on it. Oh, sick. Okay. So, if you've been watching my gift openings for a while, I've been collecting keys for like over a year now for a project that I'm going to put, hopefully, oh, I could probably put it in the new confections if they're down for it. That might be cool. As long as the health, food, and safety, whatever they are cool with it. That's a good idea. I could put it in the bathroom, maybe, or maybe not in the bathroom. Hmm, I may be able to do it sooner than I thought because my friends, uh, if things work out, they may be moving to a bigger 
better space for their cake shop because they their space that they have right now is too small for the amount of business that they've been getting, which is great for them uh, because they were over the COVID thing. They were they were not doing good at all. Speak of the devil, that's Jarrett right there. Let me turn that off. Okay, keys. I'm collecting keys to do a art installation, if you want to call it that. And it's it's hard to explain what I want to do. I kind of wanted to do it on a ceiling, you know, like a tin ceiling. You just got a metal ceiling that you know it's usually it's got some nice you know design to it and stuff like that. That's what I was kind of hoping I could do, but with keys, but dangling, but different than like what you'd see in a tin ceiling with the uh, embellishments and stuff. I don't know. It's just the look of, uh, of uh, it's like a feature wall, but instead of it being like wallpaper or a different color paint or some bold piece of art, like painting or something like that, it's gonna be keys. So thank you for sending the keys. Uh, she also sent cutlery. If you guys watch my making videos, you know that I use, that was a rubber band. I use a lot of cutlery. So this must have been cutlery that they didn't need. Also, whatever this thing is. Also one of her hairs. Put that in one of uh, my potions. And then just a few more cutlery. Always. Look like wild hair. Yeah, remember that one picture I had in <laughs> yeah. on uh, when I had the sale. Which, by the way, thank you to everyone who took advantage of the sale. It was pretty good. Unfortunately, as you guys knew, I because I put it on my social media that we took off. Um, but if you did order and we haven't gotten back to you yet, we will get back to you with the. Uh, the rest of your order process there at order from josh at gmail.com. Um, so thank you for your patience. This was totally unforeseen to have this tragedy strike our family like this. Uh, so I appreciate your guys' patience with us getting back to you. Um, we will do that soon. We, we've already been, when I say we, Ashley has. Um, so thank you very much. One more thing from Renee. This is, we got some Sharpies. You know how often, just looking for Sharpies. yeah, you know how often I buy Sharpies and then don't remember where they are? <laughs> I buy like this pack all the time, or er, not this pack, because this is double-sided, but I buy four packs all the time and I have a hundred of them somewhere, but well, I don't know where. Use them way more than you think. Maybe that's right. Because that's a lot of signing. Yeah. Thank you guys, by the way, for everyone who buys my art. That is amazing that I'm able to uh, pay the bills with 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 art. Thank you so much. What is this? Danger of suffocation. Keep away from babies. Oh, a plastic oh this is cat treats. Cat treats. This person must like cats. I also like cats. I also like dogs. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, they're gonna be so happy. There we go. Party mix. We got three. Picnic crunch, original crunch, and wild west crunch. Three cats for Archie and Penny loafers. And oh, and human treats as well. Everybody loves loves candy. Or these are not candy. Oh, some of them are. Fruit roll up, well oh, shit. Fruit roll up, Twizzlers, Sour Twizzler, Airheads, holy, I love these. The first time I ever had these guys, I liked them so much that I accidentally thanked the wrong guy for giving them to me because I was like in heaven. <laughs> I was like, I ate one and I was like, what? I was like, thanks, George. When my brother Dave bought them for me and my little brother, Dakota, our older brother, 
if you watch my vlog, you know that he just turned 50. He's like 25 years older than me. <laughs> he's 25. He's over 20 years older than me. And um, he bought these for me when I was a little kid. Blue and red and then also some other colors. That's a green, I think. Yeah. Like but blue and red are the best ones. Yeah. And I remember I pulled out a red one, <laughs> stretched it. It was a warm day. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then I was like, thanks, George, who is my older brother's cousin. Um, and then uh, Welch's. I'm not going to try these today because I already know what they taste like. But also because we're going to try those. And I don't want to uh, mess up the palate. What are those? Um, and, and then bubble gums. Oh, bubble gums. Right. Oh, this is Dad's root beer, actually. And then these are bubble gums. And then she also, is this dog treats or is this human? Chews and treats, beef recipe, greater wild jerky strips, premium quality, semi moist treat for dogs. Ooh. Henry will really like that. Love it. Thank you so much Thank for you your God. kind gift, uh, Renee. Really appreciate that. We got two more here. We got one from Kelly. Um, let's open this up. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, I always get this question. If you want to send something, it's always, or usually, in the description of every video. Um, and if you do send something, we keep your, your, whoop, I don't want to show everyone else the return address, but we keep the return address, put it in the fishbowl, which sometimes we show, and uh, we, every once in a while, we will draw a name at random, one of the return addresses, and we will just send you a print. If there's a print of the month for like Patreon or whatever, we will send that to you as well as a thank you. Um, of course, we can't do that for everyone because it's expensive, I guess. Uh, but everyone's name gets put in there, except for sometimes we forget, but usually, Every name gets put in there. Uh, so thank you. We've probably sent out, I don't know, a couple dozen things. So, so uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Uh, so all that information is in the, uh, sorry, is in the uh, description. Along with most of the time, unless I forget, the songs that I use in the vlogs. So the song that I've been using repeatedly for the, the trailer series, you'll notice that I do it every time I make something for Ashley for her birthday in the vlogs. That song, there's a link in the description to, to the song. I've been using it kind of chopped up sometimes, sometimes just the music part, sometimes with lyrics, you know, whatever. I've been using some rendition of it in each video. Um, so, link in the description. My friend, uh, Jarrett, who we were just talking about with Confections Keiko, and Scott, they sang it for us as our first dance song at our wedding. Uh, it's not their song, they didn't write it, but they rewrote some of the lyrics for us. Um, anyway, this is kind of like a pop figure, but it's, what well, is made by Funko? Pop-up greeting. Bob? This is Bob's Burgers. I mean, oh. Bob's Burgers. No, <laughs> that's a cartoon. This is the big boy. What is this called? Bob's Big Boy. Yeah, right. Bob's Big Boy. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I know some people cringe when I open these up because they're like, oh, that takes the value away. Um, I never buy anything. Of course, this is a gift, but... I never buy anything. What? It said push. I never buy anything because it's valuable necessarily. I buy it because I like it and I want it for me. I don't buy something because I'm going to resell it. Oh, push this. <laughs> You're a big deal. You're a big deal. <laughs> oh, his arms go up too. He's a little stuck, but. 
Yeah, I'm going to put this on either in the studio, probably in the studio, or on the Just Joshing with Dakota set. Which, oh, he has burgers in his eyes? Yeah. <laughs> which will be in the in the new shop. Um, which, again, we can't build this year, unfortunately, because I haven't been working. Um, okay. And then they also sent an Archie. Archie and Betty and Veronica. Archie with his two gals. This might be too small for me, actually. Let's see here. Oh, no. It, it's it's a little small, but Wait, it's I'll not, just it's hang not. it to dry. I'll put it to dry. I feel like... Uh, I've been sent a lot of Archie things. Archie underwear only, though. <laughs> now, sure. And uh, I actually do wear them. I don't know if you heard all that. Oh, we got another shirt here. I think this is a shirt. Yeah, this is a shirt. Recycle? Recycle plastic. plastic. <laughs> so those of you who watch my channel or our channel you know that uh i recycle upcycle reclaim and all that stuff i imagine that's why they, they thought this would be on brand for me uh thank you okay what is this a popsicle <laughs> this is perfect for the just joshing with dakota studio i can't wait till we can build that if you want that to happen faster, we got art for sale. Uh, one last thing here. I think this is a letter or a card. This is a card made out of a cereal box. Yeah, I like your style. Uh, they sent some lava lamp stickers. I do have a quite a, an extensive sticker collection. Thousands of dollars worth of stickers because I'm an idiot. Remember how many stickers I have? You've used lots of them. I've used a lot of them. Yeah, Troy used quite a few too. But I still, I probably have $8,000 worth of stickers left. Maybe. I would buy them every week. Hundreds of dollars. I would just, and people would be like, why do you buy so many stickers? I'm like, I just like them. But look at this. Chuck? T oh, these are sick. TV. Bending machine. machine. Gumball machine. This TV actually, this kind of reminds me, my brother, Dakota, he just put out a video two days ago. What day did we get back? A couple days ago. Uh, Saturday. Saturday? Friday. No, late Friday night. Okay, basically Saturday. Saturday yeah. So I think he put it out on Saturday or maybe Sunday. He put out a new video. You guys got to check it out. This kind of reminds me of that video. It's really good. Um, you guys have been waiting for me to put out my gnome video. Now I can, but I'm going to wait till after the uh, trailer is done. Um, because... I just don't want to interrupt that series. Uh, this says, hey, Josh, by the way, as a reminder, if you don't want me to read your notes on camera, just put that as your first line or somewhere in the thing where I'll see it, and then I'll just read it after the fact. I'm a terrible reader. Sometimes people get frustrated, and they rage quit my videos, and they tell me later that I should stop reading. But I'm going to give it my best shot here. <laughs> I started watching your videos a few months ago, so I'm new to the group. But as I write this, I am in your past time October 2020, and I've watched them from the start of your channel. I watched the new vids to keep in the loop of your current events and wanted to send you a little something since you are having uh, a time of it with your noggin. I am. Uh, I will say I'm going to be pretty bummed when I'm all caught up and I don't have Josh videos to watch after work. I need to pay you instead of my cable bill. <laughs> uh, I think you and your family are pretty awesome, and I'm always excited to see your talents in video editing, art, woodwork, home remodeling, and just being an ask. No, an A-class, good human. 
I think I have mild dyslexia because sometimes I jumble words together. Being an ass clown is what I thought I was going to say. <laughs> Because somehow class and clown go together. And then she said A class. So then I was thinking ass. I don't know. Thanks so much for sharing your life and talent with us. Keep kicking ass with both feet. And many well wishes to good health and wealth. Take care, Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. Uh, update on the noggin. So those of you who have watched for the last five or so, four or so months. Uh, yes, I do have a brain thing. Uh, started when I lifted up my compo's been and has not relented since it has relented some where i am able to function and do things as you've noticed with doing the trailer i'm pointing over there even though you can't see it but it's over there in the driveway still um uh if i was at full capacity it would probably already be done but since i can only work for say six or seven hours a day for an hour or two at a time, depending on how I go. Um, it's just taking forever, but um, I can work kind of. And so that's good. Uh, I am taking some meds for it now. So that's the only update I have. Uh, the meds are not actually for it. It's for the symptoms only, uh, which I don't think it's even helping at all, but uh, it's an experiment willing to try because like I said, at the very beginning, it's an anomaly. I'm an anomaly because I manifest this type of headache without the major things that cause it, such as tumors, uh, aneurysms, or uh, like these other diseases that you can see, or cancers, or whatever that you can see on uh, what do you call them? Like visual, whatever, like CTs and whatever, what have you. So next thing is hopefully, hopefully it's not a hole in my spine, but hopefully find out what it is. The only thing is, is that he's consulting some other neurologists, my neurologist is, to get some other opinions and blah, blah, blah. So no good news, but not necessarily bad news because I can still do stuff. I just have to take it easy by a long shot, which is a bummer, but... It's better than, certainly better than being dead from like aneurysms or the like, but it's not as good as being 100% uh, because I used to do a lot in a day and now I do, I do as much as the average person now. No, less than the average person probably now. I used to work like 10 to 14 hours a day, every single day. And now I work six hours a day. <laughs> if that. Sometimes not even that. Depends. Okay, this is from Heather. Oh, I know what this is. This is from Heather. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. She said not to read this. Does she mean? Hold on. Let me, let me read this in my head real quick. Let me read this in my head real quick. Uh, a hole in the spine. Isn't that something that happens in the womb slash birth? Oh, let me elaborate. I have a pressure headache, whatever. I got leak, possibly leaky spinal fluid, which is causing my brain to sit on my skull rather than in the fluid, which is causing the pain. And the reason why you can't see that on CT or whatever Actually, I don't even know why, but I'm assuming is because there not being any fluid doesn't show up. Only if there is more stuff, I think. That's not supposed to be there, like a bleed or whatever. Uh, when I did my MRI, or wait, which one was it? What's the one where they put the stuff in? Angiogram. Angiogram. When they did the angiogram, they should have done... My, my neurologist said that he wishes that we would have done because they did an arterial and he said that he wishes that they did arterial and this other kind yeah. Venus. That makes sense. You could see the little, the veins, the little veins and the arteries at the same time, but they didn't do that. And since there's such a long wait, because 
where we live in Canada, it's socialized medicine. So uh, for it to be free, you know, paid for by your tax dollars, you often have to wait. And since I'm not dying, because I don't have any of the big things, I have to wait longer times than someone who, you know, needs it right away. Like on my first day, they did everything right away. So, because they were like, dude, you're, you're toast, man. We got to do this real quick. Wow. Okay. You're so amazing, Heather. Thank you so much. She didn't want me to read that, but just know that she's amazing. She's like a an unofficial an unofficial part of the channel. Okay, this is for Dakota. I imagine this is a sympathy card. She said she did have she did send one. Yeah, okay, I will read this later. Thank you so much, Heather. Whoa, almost spilt my milk, my chocolate milk. Okay, guys, this, this is a commission that I commissioned her. I don't know how long ago, but a while ago. <laughs> this is so sick. Can anyone guess what it is? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so, oh, it's so big. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's, okay, hold on. Wow, this is huge. Okay. Okay, I got to make sure I open it up the right way. Okay, I had it upside down. Oh, you can't see it, but whose hat is this, guys? <laughs> whose hat is this? The face of you, uh, I will. Oh. I'm gonna scroll up if you will. <laughs> do you guys know whose hat this is? Okay, who do I? Yeah, there you go, Roger. Every time that I mention Roger on my channel, you may notice that this image flashes up on the screen. Hold on, let me move you a little further back here. Okay. This is a Roger blanket. This is a Roger blanket. <laughs> ah, hold on a second. Okay, let me let me go like this. Can you guys see this? Not really. Yeah. This is so freaking awesome. Okay. The reason why I commissioned this will become evident in a few weeks. But uh, I love this. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So for those of you who keep continuing, continue to watch our channel, you will, uh, you will see what this is for in a month or so. Okay. <laughs> this is sick. I wish I could show you the whole thing, but it's it's so big. Um, but whatever. Gramps Chronicles. She crocheted it. <laughs> she crocheted it, yeah. Wow. She also made one for Dakota uh, a year ago, maybe more, I don't know, of a Nirvana blanket. And uh, that one's also really well done. If you guys want to uh, follow... Heather, I don't think she, I don't think she sent a thing, but Matthew, if you're here, if you don't mind, uh, could you put the links to her socials? She also has a YouTube channel uh, as well uh, that she does with her friend, Sir Molly Johnson. Um, you guys should follow her YouTube channel where she does uh, drink reviews of alcoholic and sodas, drinks. Maybe even water. I don't know. I haven't watched every single video. 
uh, Silverfish Media, I think it's called, it's a YouTube channel. Her Facebook page is called, oh, she changed it, so I can't remember what it's called now. But anyways, she crochets little creatures, Pokemon characters, Kirby's, blankets, obviously, a bunch of different things. So if you want to commission her, I don't know how that works exactly with her. Me, I just messaged her and she said, sure. Um, so, yeah. She's amazing. So thank you, Heather, for always being great. She also ordered like a dozen prints from me in the past. And she also checks out my Teespring and stuff. So anyway, you guys should follow her on uh, on her social media uh, and maybe grab something from her. Uh, she also does markets and stuff. She's from Canada, uh, Nova Scotia. So if you're on the East, maybe you can even see her at one of her markets. Thank you, Heather. Uh, now we are going to do our uh, taste test from Treats. Trytreats.com. Thank you, Try Treats, for sending me this box. If you guys would like to try this, you can hook up with them. There's a link in the description to their website. And if you use promo code Joshua Alexander, all capitals, all one word, uh, you can get 15% off your first purchase. And uh, you can try what we're going to try. If you remember last time, I think it was Thailand they sent. <laughs> it was disgusting. And then if you watch my brother's uh, uh, Madness Monday. I come on. I got him to try the stuff that I didn't like, and he liked it. He liked it. He has a more expansive um, food palette. I don't know what flag this is. Last time we didn't know what flag was. Jesus, does anyone know what this is? Is it Swiss? Maybe it's Swedish. Maybe they have Swedish fish in here. Swedish berries. Henry, can you stop barking? We're trying to do a show here. Okay, let's open her up and like have a have a quick look here. This is Oh, Ash. She's outside. This is perfect for her. How did she not know this? I feel like she should have known this. Or I won't say just We'll wait for her to come back. Dave has a new thumb. Yes. Guess what this is. Don't look. Just guess. I want to see Dave's new thumb. Guess there. what it is? Yeah, guess not what the food is. Guess what the flag again. You said Swiss? Guess another guess. Just guess. Something close to the heart. Poland. Yes. <laughs> How did I not know that? Though? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Poland. Let's uh, read a little bit about Poland. There's also a recipe on the back. Poland facts. There's a population of 38,122,659 people as of 2018. Consensus. Language, obviously Polish. I'm sure they also speak a few other European languages in there. In there. Over there. Uh, but obviously the official language would be Polish, which sounds... Kind of like Ukrainian, kind of like Russian, but not really. You can hear it. When you hear it, you're like, oh, yeah. Big noses and type language. That was terrible. That was not good at all. Uh, government type, parliamentary, parliamentary republic. Uh, the GDP is $1.111 trillion. Estimated the last in 2017. National holiday. Constitution Day. It's on May 3rd. Did you know Poland's former name is? Do you know what it is? The Republic of Poland. I actually did know that. But uh, how you say it in their language is. Rzesz Pospolita Polska. It's not very very accurate. Poland's national anthem is, you know, Dabrowski's Mazurik. The anthem commonly known as, what the heck? I don't know how to read that. Jezjezjezj Polska Nai Zgnila. Poland has not yet perished, is what it translates to. It's 
was written in 1797 by Joseph Wybicki. The anthem was composed in Italy where Polish troops were fighting at the side of Napoleon. Okay. The last Polish monarch, Stanis, Stanislaw Poniatowski, died in prison in 1798 in St. Petersburg, Russia. That's common. Lots of Poles died in Russia, unfortunately. Well, uh, 1798, that was, that's early. It is estimated that 100 million Pasky, a Polish donut, are consumed every year on the Thursday before Ash Wednesday alone. Oh, because they give up donuts on Ash Wednesday? Or is that? Ash Wednesday. What is that? There are lots of Catholics over there. What's the, the Lent? You give up stuff for Lent. What is Ash Wednesday? I've seen people with like ashes on their forehead. Is that for Ash Wednesday? Guys, what is Ash Wednesday? Please remind me. Uh, pierogi. Love pierogies. At our wedding, she was Ukrainian, right? But we had our our caterer was Ukrainian. She made, uh, almost called them Polish, Polish dumplings because that's what it says right <laughs> here. She made pierogies and they were so good. Uh, Lent makes no sense, LOL. Uh, Polish donuts are freaking delish. Ash Wednesday is near Easter, I think. Okay. The beginning of Lent is Ash Wednesday. Mm. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So I was on the right track. Because I've seen people like at the Catholic high school, they put ashes on there probably for like their, like whatever, chapel or whatever they have. Mm -hmm. uh, pierogi are one of the most recognizable Polish dishes outside of Poland. Yeah. If you don't like pierogies, you haven't had pierogies. Can I see the recipe on that? Yes. This is what Poland looks like. This month's treats come to you from Poland, a country in Europe close to the Baltic Sea and steeped in tradition and culture. Poland is known for many things, including being the birthplace of the composer Frederick Chopin and the home of some of some Europe's most, I think it's supposed to be some of, Europe's most beautiful and oldest cities such as Dank, Gdansk, shown on the front of this postcard. Uh, Poland has a love for chocolate that dates back to the 17th century. Chocolate was initially a luxury product, but became available to the public through Carol Weddell, who started E. Weddell. Today's chocolate are beloved treats in Poland, and this is represented by the good amount of chocolate in your box. I'm going to love this one. With rich and creamy treats like Powellek and the iconic Prince Polo, an all-time favorite of Poles, both made by the chocolate pioneer E. Weddle. Uh, we hope you enjoy your treats in this box. Tell us your favorites on our Facebook or Instagram for a chance to win more treats. Thank you. By the way, guys, the owner of this company, his name is Roger. Not my grandfather, but the only all the Rogers I know are pretty decent dudes, so... Remember, promo code Joshua Alexander, all capitals, all one word, at treats.com or trytreats.com. Link in the description. You guys can have a taste of Poland. Uh, oh, there's a spelling mistake on one of these. Okay, what's inside your box, and then we can uh, we can rate them. Okay, so we're gonna go, okay, pretzels. Who doesn't like pretzels? Everyone likes pretzels. Poluski, Klazinczync. I feel like Poland, Polish would be a hard language to learn because there's a lot of, I wouldn't call it mumbling per se, but it's like a lot of mashed sounds. Oh, these are long. That just tastes like your classic pub pretzel. Nothing wrong with that. Ten. Oh, I almost spit that out. That almost spit out was not because I didn't like it. I was just 
or dry. I don't know. My tongue was like, see ya, but my lip caught it. I don't know if you noticed that. Play it back in slow-mo. It's a good play. <laughs> I rate that 10, 10 gold blooms out of a possible 10 gold blooms. What? Okay, the next thing we got here, we got two of them. Okay, we should do this strategically, maybe. All salty things and then all sweet things? This will be our buffer. Because it's, it's, it's a wafer of sorts. Okay, we got some candies. We got, I think this is chocolate. Oh my gosh. Hazelnut. Okay, we'll try, okay. Sesame snack. Oh, this is the thing that has the spelling mistake. Oh, it's missing an I after the M. Was it M a key or whatever? Okay, we got some corn flutes. I don't know. Tiger ski. Let's try this. This is like a big Cheeto. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's not the orange though. Why are they so huge? <laughs> yeah, imagine someone's just casually eating this. You're just like They're so big. Like a flavorless cheetah. You know? Yeah, does it taste like packing peanuts? <laughs> when are we gonna eat packing peanuts? You know when they tell you like, oh those are edible. Because they're made out of cornstarch or whatever. That's what this is. This is a packing peanut. <laughs> this has no taste. I feel like we're eating it wrong. It's like when someone's like, hey, would you like some rice cakes? And you're like, no. <laughs> That's what this is. It doesn't taste bad. Okay, there's no English on this at all. Um, oh, there is. Corn groats. That's it. It's just corn. Okay, that's why it tastes like nothing. It's just corn. There's no flavor on it. Am I supposed to sit there or something? This taste, yeah, there you must have to provide your own cheese. Like it even has a tiger on it. Like Cheetos. Oh yeah. But like this ain't Chester. This is you have an uncle named Chester. What's his Polish name? Um, you don't know how to say it? But Buffer used to call her cats Kicha. Oh, yeah, Kicha. I don't know what that means. Hmm. I'm guessing that means cat. Maybe they are for a cheese fondue. Well, we'll, we'll continue digging through here. This is not gross. It's not bad tasting. It's just kind of nothing tasting. Um, I would call this. A flavorless Cheeto. Bernadette says watching time at 7.20. Oh, we got 10 minutes, guys. Okay. This is two gold blooms out of a possible. I think this is a of some sort. Uh, what the, what's that smell? Gingerbread. Gingerbread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. For some reason, it was, it was uh, escaping me. Mm. This is something I feel like you would eat with your tea. Do Polish people drink a lot of tea? They drink a lot of vodka. Mm -hmm. This is something that you would eat with your vodka. <laughs> This is good. I give this like an eight. Oh my God. Eight gold blooms out of a possible 10 gold blooms. <laughs> I like this. Definitely, this is. This wins. Okay. Have you had one, Yeah, it's just too gross. Oh, that's why you're asking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just making a joke. Mm. 
<laughs> now you're talking, so Renee. Okay. Oh, well. Let's move on here. We got two. Oh, I've had this before. Oh, we actually have four of these. It's a milky, creamy fudge, it says. Joey says this box seems to be much better than the last. This is way better. <laughs> if you had to choose out of the Thailand or was it Thailand or was it something else? I think it was Thailand. Or Poland. Poland. It's like a soft Werther's original. It's like those little Halloween caramel candies. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that. That's a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I would say not actually quite as good. It's like got a, or it could be just because of something else in my mouth. It doesn't have the, the taste is just as good, but the consistency I think is a little off. But if that's all there was, what am I talking about? It's just different, different than what I'm used to. It tastes just as good. It's just, it's not sticking to my teeth and somehow I'm like, that's not good. That's actually better. It was not sticking. Yeah, because the other kind, you're like, uh -huh. <laughs> right? Okay, we got. Okay, we're gonna try this one. There's only one of these. This is called a Delfina P. Hey, we have a Delfina who watches the channel. This is a oh, oh, it's like a. This has alcohol on it, I think. It has a, oh shit. It smells like it has alcohol on it. It has a, uh, what do you call these? Looks like a face. What are these called, guys? Uh, shit. Delphina says it better be good. Cameo, yeah, there we go. Thank you, here. Oh, broke her freaking neck off. Here you go. Try that. Oh, yeah. I think it has, like, brandy in it. Mm -hmm. It smells like those brandy beans. That's what they're called, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to read. Um... Sugar, cocoa, glucose, palm fat, cocoa butter. Da, 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 da. Maybe it doesn't. It kind of tastes like it does, though. Um, honestly, this one's not that good. It's not. It's not bad. I would say it's a. Three, three gold blooms out of a possible ten gold blooms. Okay, let's go with this one here. This is a hazelnut. I don't really like hazelnut, so I probably won't like this one, but hazelnut break. Break me off a piece of that hazelnut. Oh, it's in segments. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of like a bueno. Like a bueno mm. or a witch finger. Mm. Not bad for something that has hazelnuts in it. It's really, this is the best one. I would say this, you can have the other, this other part of it. I'd say that's a, I'd say that's a five out of 10. Not bad though. Okay, we got a Prince Polo here. Prince Polo. 
started in 1955. Oh, this is a wafer. That's a 10 out of 10. I freaking love wafers. This is like a chocolate sandwich. <laughs> this is a 10. 10 out of 10. I like this one better. This one's way better. It's like pretzels. Pretzels are so good. These, they're so good. Pretzels and these are tied. 10 gold blooms out of a possible 10 gold blooms for each. Okay, we got more wafers. Okay, you thought we were done with wafers? No, we got family's wafers. I believe the Thailand box also had wafers, and I did like those. These ones, I these ones are broken. Here, take one of or both of those. Oh, there's a small one. Another winner. Where do these come from? These come from Poland. Uh, Try Treats sent us a box. If you're just hopping on, you can check out the link in the description to get your own box and uh, see what you think about Polish, all this stuff. Freaking good. I would say this is another 10 out of 10. Okay, we got two more things to try here. We got the misspelling here. This is a honey, honey to go. Oh, these are like, uh, what do you call these? Sesame, the 99 cent things at grocery stores. They are stuck together. We will. Sesame snaps. Thank you, Mel. Those are good. I'd say. I'd say I'd give it a. Like these are like the things that, you know, when you like check your pantry, then you check your fridge, <laughs> and then you go back to the pantry, and go back to the fridge. Like you lower your standards each time. Cause you're like, okay. Do we have any pie? I don't know. Go in the fridge. No pie. The pantry, like, oh, we don't have chips. Maybe we have, I don't know, crack, whatever. Then you come in. Well, actually, I think these are better. Anyway, these are like a, this is a meet you in the middle kind of snack. Five out of 10. Uh, tastes just the same as anything that you'd get here, but they're exotic. So they're better somehow. I feel like, I feel like when someone brings you brings in a snack, like if you're at work, like like beef jerky is a big one. If you're around people who hunt, when they bring that in, people are always wanting that jerky. It's way better than what you get at the gas station most of the time, and it's just so delicious. I feel like that somehow, if someone brought this in and was like, "Do you want some sesame snaps from Poland?" I'd be like, "Yeah, that sounds awesome." Because they're already good. Tastes exactly the same. Somehow it tastes better. Even though I already said they taste the same. Because they do. But it's cooler because they're from somewhere else. Okay. Our last thing are these candies that have little pictures on them. They're called Citruski. Or probably Citrus. Mm. So I don't, think, I don't think cherries are citrus. But they're on the line. Is it a water, watermelon too? Yeah, watermelon that's already sliced. Or maybe it's a grapefruit with a green peel. No, it's probably a watermelon. <laughs> you want to try that one? Okay. I will try cherry on a lemon. Okay, so this is probably lemon cherry, maybe. Hard candy.
Pretty sure you're supposed to suck these, but. What does this taste like? Oh, warmers. No, lightsaber. Yes. <laughs> Did you say Worthers? Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. Lifesaver. They do taste like Lifesaver. Mm -hmm. These are 10 out of 10. These are good. So I'll try. Nothing in this box was gross. Which, depending on who you are, none of the boxes contain things that are gross. People always accuse me of being a picky eater, but I don't agree. I just don't eat things that don't taste good. And for this box, everything tastes good. So if you guys use my promo code, Joshua Alexander, all capitals, no spaces, over at trytreats.com, link in the description. Get the Poland box. Highly recommend. You can get 15% off if you use my promo code. There we'll go like this. Put it back on the put it back on the chocolate milk. Dang, this is good. Okay, what time is it? Okay, it's 7:30. That means it's a little past 7:30. That means we've come to our time. What you should do now, after you order your treat box, you should go to my brother's channel, Madness Mondays, or Madness Channel. He has his Madness Monday show going on right now. I just got a notification for it. So it's going on right now. Go over there. Tell them that you came from my show, whatever you call this, gift opening. And uh, I'm going to hang out over there in the comments for a little while. And uh, we'll have a thing. Oh, I got a super chat at some time. So whoever that was, thank you for the super chat. Um, really appreciate that. Once again, I want to thank everyone for their support, for their gifts. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Like I said, I have been saying, very adamant about not using GoFundMe, but for what we had it for, it was a different circumstance. I mean, we didn't set it up, but we were still planning on utilizing it. And I really appreciate you guys trusting us with that because, like I said, it's something that we don't really believe in using for ourselves because everything that we we have and want or whatever we can meet those needs by by working for it but we're not in a position to need things uh like in an emergency situation so uh with this sort of thing it was a little different and i just re really appreciate everybody's help with that it, it was a huge help uh, fortunately we didn't have to use it if you don't know what i'm talking about there in the community tab i just mentioned that there was a GoFundMe set up by a cousin of, of my older brothers because my sister passed away and it was just for all those arrangements and getting down there and all that stuff. And so, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. If you haven't watched my this vlog, you should watch it and watch all the ones that go with it. But anyways, go check out my brother's channel, Madness Mondays. Matthew's not here. So I didn't put a thing in, but if you put an M-A-D-N-E-Z-Z, -Z, Mondays, or just find his channel, Madness Channel, M-A-D-N-E-Z-Z, -Z, I'm going to be there right now. And I know some of you guys are over, watch this show every Monday anyway. So anyways, peace out. Thank you so much. You guys are